Hey guys, how we doing? Morning, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. Uh, so I think we're not alone in feeling that the season two finale of the Americans was kind of lackluster. Yeah, I, I had bigger hopes for it. Me too. Um, uh, it was a good season. Yeah, but it, there was an awful lot of expository wrap up with the kid and holding his neck. Happened. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, it's just let's get rid of the main villain from the season. Yeah. and wrap up all the other storylines in two minutes here. It which I tricky. yeah. It, they really built themselves a really compelling web. Yeah. And then like, well, how do we get out of this? It's, 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 it's like a show that ends with, and it was all a dream. You know what I mean? Kind of. Yeah. It's like, sort of. Yeah. It, it, I, it, was look, a, it was a big deus ex machina in the form of a dying teenager. Now I understand getting a, a TV show made isn't the easiest feat. Sure. Now juggling that many storylines alone, Damn near impossible. It was a lot. And, yeah. and, and you know, I get it. Like, in, in the real world, there'd be a lot of things going on for these people. Sure. Um, you know? And in the real world, story storylines don't always wrap up. But yeah. it, but it, but in a narrative, you're like, okay, I'm tracing these threads, and I'm expecting a payoff somewhere. Now, one thing for sure, I, I'm glad they tried it. Sure. I'm glad they tried something new that, that they didn't want to do the same thing as the first season. It wasn't the first of the same season. Season's I good. agree with that. Right. That, that's good. I, I like it when a show... We get a season two, they go completely a different direction. Sure. And I think that it's going to set up something interesting going forward. Yeah, I, I do think we set up an interesting third season, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I feel like, you know, Stan burying Nina at the end, right? Essentially, yeah. yeah. And, and, like, cutting off that part of his life, which will probably completely refocus him. I mean, she's probably gone off the show. Now. She, I, I feel like she's probably gone off the show, yeah. and I feel like it just gives him more ammunition in his "I hate these people," Big right? Time. Because for for all he thinks, she was always on his side. He just couldn't commit yeah, treason that's for true. her. That's, that's, you that's, know? that's true. Yeah, he has no so, idea about so I, Olog or Olog, Oleg, Oleg. Yeah, yeah, Oleg. And, and about the fact that that she that she was double agenting him. Yeah, she she he. I don't think he knows that. Uh, at least not now. But I I do feel like he he feels like that they. Tortured and punished his girlfriend to get at him. Yeah. And so I feel like Stan's going to be extra motivated to get these people. He's already a loose cannon. Yeah, I know. That I think it gets ratcheted up, and right? I think the most interesting dynamic, though, is focusing on the main characters, <laughs> Philip and Elizabeth, possibly going to war over Paige. You know? Yeah. Like, I, yeah that's, a, that's a big deal. Right. Um, I, I get that Elizabeth has always been more... Uh, about the cause that he has, absolutely, I way, way more willing to sac- well, sacrifice. She for it. was way closer to the kid in the last season than than than, um, than he was. Sure, why would she want that for Paige? You know, yeah, I, I don't know. Again, we we, we just had the idea broached. I don't know what that looks like moving forward. That's true. Um, we they, only, they could abandon that entirely, right? Know, yeah. and, and, and we've always kind of felt like at some point, Paige, who is not stupid, is going to know something real is up, and she yeah. and she does know like. My, my parents are liars, but she doesn't know why or how. Yeah. But we, we kind of felt like at some she knows point, things up. at some point, she's going to know what the real deal is. Yeah. Um. I, I didn't expect it to come in the form of, hey, join the cause. And I kind of thought we would get that in this last season because yeah. at the end of season one, we had that great not cliffhanger, but last shot of her kind of like in the laundry room snooping about. Right. The inkling of something's there, you know. Sure. Um. And then yeah, one of our favorite characters, Granny's back. Right. Can't wait for that. I want to see more Granny. Uh, yeah, and I don't think there uh, there's any way moving forward that you trust her. I mean, she she did kind of come clean about well, the Elizabeth recruiting said kids. She trusts, trusts her completely in the last episode, right? Um, I, I don't know. I I have a hard time believing Granny's just on their side. I do too. I think that's you know, point, right. Like, yeah. she's supposed to be seedy and and um, right. She's a, a KGB handler. Sure, I wouldn't trust her. No, uh, but Elizabeth is. Uh, she does. She's she's hook line sinker right now. Right. Well, I don't know. If she could have trusted Kate Kate because Kate was definitely in on the recruiting the kids to the cause yeah. thing. You know. So yeah. um, I don't know. It, it it is great that she did come clean and tell him that that's what was going on. Yeah. By the way, they're going to start recruiting Paige. I know she was the messenger supposed to tell him. Sure. Like you know, the center wants Paige on the team. Um, I and think she's that's not a, necessarily for it. I think, yeah, and, and I don't think there's, it, no matter what Elizabeth wants, and Elizabeth may try to coax that to happen or not, but I, I don't think there will ever be a universe in which Philip's going to go along with that. Oh, no. Uh, and anyway, he, he will He's be... in the Resident Turret. Yeah, he, he, he will be an adversary to that completely, all the way through. I think that's interesting. It's kind yeah. of like Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the movie, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> we have to say that now because of the show. Right. But it, it's like, uh, well, it, it's different, obviously, sure. but I mean, like, the fighting, right? right. I, I wonder if it will go that far to they actually have an altercation. Uh, I, I don't know. I think they love each other. They do. I, but I, I do think that this but is But they're a, both strong will. Right. They're, they're very stubborn people. You yeah. know? So it, it's, it's interesting. I want to see where that goes 
going forward through the season. I think the show does build very well. Right. So we're not going to get it right away. No, no, not at all. Yeah. I, I do think if there is like, you know, they're, they're, they're that split on an issue and it keeps going to be a thing, Philip wins. He's the one that has it. You know, this is like, because we're in Elizabeth, like, maybe we should do this. And Philip's like, no. Nope. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I feel like. He's usually right, too. Right. And I, I, so I feel like he's the one that's like, if, if someone's going to put the foot down, yeah. Elizabeth's not going to be like, my daughter's going to be a spy and that's that. You know? I, I we also have Chekhov's gun. Martha. Martha has a gun. Yeah, Martha has a gun that is definitely going to come into play for sure. <sighs> Look, I'm. That's the storyline for me that I'm just kind of for is the Martha storyline. I'm surprised it's still going. I am too. I, I did not think that Martha would outlast Nina on this show. I didn't either. And you know what? If, if they're going to, let's hope they have a good plan for her. Otherwise, can we just write her off? I mean, like, <laughs> right. I, I want to get some more interesting uh, material. Sure. Well, I, I think it's, it's gotten kind of repetitive. It has. In that it has. Martha is feeling insecure about her marriage. Clark has to go and kind of talk her down and say, everything's fine. Keep spying for me. She gets insecure about their marriage. And, and we just kind of keep doing that. She's not a bad character. She's an interesting character, but they're not it's doing out. They're not doing anything new with her. That's why I like to like, you know what? Give her a gun. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll figure something out. Right. All right, guys, we do want to go ahead and welcome uh, Beth, John Sanchez, Mark Olson, Kevin Owen, Cord, our Patreon group. Thanks so much, guys. We're very happy you're here with us. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Hello. Uh, if you don't mind hitting the like button for us, please leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way. Yeah, if you'd like to see a full length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or currently watching, please check out a link in the description below to our Patreon page. Um, on all shows, including The Americans, we're at least four episodes ahead on Patreon of where, where we are on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Editing takes time um <laughs> so if you'd like to sing and watch along there that's the way to do it you will need to see your own device streaming service to do so you'll only see and hear us on patreon for copyright purposes yeah we're also watching 30 raw right now as a patreon exclusive we just did the finale over there so if you want to watch that check it out yeah. great what do you do stan i'm an fbi agent so we're doing a recap of the show here yeah yeah i think full-on robocop stan is probably going to be a thing yeah <laughs> He's yeah, I, I want to see that really bad. Yeah, for sure. He's single. He's got nothing left to lose now. <laughs> That's it. All he has is his job now. Yeah, that makes him dangerous. Yeah, he's got nothing else. And he, even more so. But yeah. Three days ago, she calls me. Says she's decided to major in political science. Wants to be in the CIA like her mother. <laughs> oh, it's like what's this woman's angle? Okay, yeah. she's in CIA. I get more out of the asset in one night than he's gotten in six months because I knew what I was talking about. She doesn't. She doesn't know she's being worked though. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. A week later, Jeff gets promoted. So she turned coat. Oh, okay, maybe. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, big time. Screw the CIA. <laughs> she's bitter. <laughs> yeah, she is. That's everyone in any and SAD working on Afghanistan. This is a really fascinating time in American history, too. Yeah, it's for sure. End of Cold War era. It's, it's cool. Darn near close to it. Yeah, this is this is probably still heights of Cold War leading yeah. up to the end. Yeah. Yeah. Eight, you say, yeah. yeah. It's me. I'm doing something terrible. That's a great shot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, can't you stay? I mean, I'm actually uh, with all this just lonely tonight. No, get out of there, because she called somebody. Yeah, she did. Oh, I wish I could, Charlotte. We'll see each other again next week. Yeah, wiping down the glass. Yep, yeah, she did. Smart. Yep. Yeah. Are you foaming? Yeah, you better run. Hi, Taylor, sister. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now run. <laughs> yeah. Oh, once again, the tension is just so good. Yeah, for sure. The wig, the glass. Change, yeah, change up your look. I love it in movies when they do that. Just turn yeah. the jacket inside out. I love that. Oh, it's so cool. Hey, yeah. sweetie. You're right. I went to Est, and I think they're all insane. <laughs> Can we get yeah. back together now? Well, this feels like too little too late, doesn't it? It does. Hindsight's always twenty twenty, I guess. Yeah. He's... Uh, pardon me, ma'am. Oh, crap. Man. She's gonna fight these guys. Yeah, she is. Can I help you? Yes. Where were the FBI? Oh! oh. oh. She just decked Gad right in the face. Yeah, but they got her. They looked at her. They did. 
that she lost it. You need the paper, but at the same time, getting shot or caught is not worth it. Or he sees him. Sees her. He saw her. Yeah, he did. No glasses, just the wig, but still, he saw her face. Yeah. Good look at her. To be fair, he was a little disoriented. Right. Broken nose, it looks like. Didn't get a great look at her when when, he, when she first turned around, too, so right. maybe you'd be fine. I will your recommendation to the General Secretary Leonid Ilyich Brezhnev. Yeah, put your brush in the Who said that? <laughs> yeah. You know, it needs to be honest and open for you to fulfill your work. He's a big guy, too. Yeah, he's huge. What happened? Ugh, would you believe unloading groceries? <laughs> well, you gotta let your man do the heavy lifting. <laughs> Why don't you come for dinner tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, great. I'll see you guys then. I'm taking the beer, though. Yeah, <laughs> I would, too. That's yeah. next door. Right, yeah. What happened? Close call. No oh, close. Very. Yeah, look at that thing. It's purple. Yeah, she got bounced off a car hood by a very big man a couple yeah. times. Yeah. Oh, she did lose it. Yeah. Adderhold said she was about 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, Don't rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone remotely matching this woman's description goes in for an injury to the face or the jaw, we'll get an alert. Good. She will not be doing that, yeah. No. When do you think he starts getting suspicious of Philip and Elizabeth? Down the road? I don't think it's going to be until season four, I yeah. wouldn't think. Oh, my needless pain we I hate it singing in church. For sure. Uh, how about, is there a time passage y'all? Because Paige looks a lot older to me. Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. And kids are that young. Right, right. Like, they shoot up like weeds. That's true. Yeah. Only 7,000 more. Keep them coming. Only 7,000 more, yeah. Food's here. Uh, Paige, can you help Dan set it up? Yeah, sure. So, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at me mugging Dan. Yeah. They're going to have a dossier on Dan before the end yeah. of the day. <laughs> well, that's funny. That's good. Still gorgeous. <laughs> and you look about the same. <laughs> I'm sorry that I lost that list. Maybe I should have. We'll got. get the names another way. You, we could never get back. This isn't going away. Yeah. I'd say we're closer than we ever have been. Yeah. Ideologically, she's open to the right ideas. Yeah. This is. Yeah. yeah this yeah, is. Yeah, this yeah. is going to get ugly. Elizabeth, there's something for you in the drawer under the toaster. Is it another gun? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Everyone's got a gun in the <laughs> yeah, kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> another mission, probably. Or maybe more correspondence from her mom back home, probably. That's a good point. I think about that. That is not what you just said to him. I told him what he needed to hear, what the center needs to hear. I said that is exactly what you want. Yeah, this is not going to be a, an easy resolution. Yeah. Start no matter how much yeah. practice, I can't seem to make any progress. Yeah, her gun is definitely going to be a thing. Yeah. Since when do you wear glasses? Oh, uh, just for distance. You want to line up these two sites with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Don't get caught. At this point, she's like, oh, Paige, come on in. All right. This feels like a get caught moment because we're not, the message obviously doesn't even matter. We're not getting no, a translation. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If, if Paige comes down and catches her, I think she's like, all right, well, now's as good a time. I'm as not ever. originally from these parts. Yeah. This guy's playing with fire here. <laughs> I mean, in many ways, they have the same right. role. Right. Save Nina. That tape that Gabriel brought. My mother, she's dying. Oh, yeah. Okay. Our team will be responsible for her security from the second she steps onto U.S. soil. The KGB isn't going to be happy, gentlemen. The nap and exchange? Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Was. Let the wheels turn on that one. Boy, he is tailing really close. I know. First time? Yeah, right. <laughs> Unless it's supposed to be obvious. It's like a some kind of meeting. It's possible. The only time I had you was just there on Creek Crossing. That was too close. Yeah. She's training him. You're doing great. Let's go again. They've never showed 
tailing training before, right? <laughs> in a movie or show. <laughs> I've never seen it. Yeah. When Radio Moscow announced early today that Soviet President Brezhnev is dead, oh, yeah? the reaction in much of the world was... So this is where Gorbachev takes over. Yeah. The, yeah. They probably know then, right? I imagine they would know. I think, cool. yeah. Bill comes back in the room. Put the TV back on. <laughs> All right, well... That was a premiere. That was a premiere, yeah. There we go. Yeah, they don't. Well, he's going to keep working Yusuf, but now Yusuf's going to be in his debt. Yeah. Because, you know, Phil knows he's a murderer. Yeah. Yeah, they really, they'll just kill whoever in the show. Sure. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think she would be, I mean, the most important character, but I kind of thought them bringing her back in season two was going to, you know, really set up this season, which I guess it kind of does. Yeah. You know, she, her character served a purpose. Right. Um, I thought she was going to die, but that's just because I feel like all the assets, once they're not in the first episode, we, we've killed. Yeah, I mean, we've killed off assets before. Oh, like, yeah, we're done sure. with them, like the for sure. the congressman's aides. You mm -hmm. know, it was like, well, we're done with them. Go kill them now, John Carroll Lynch. Oh, right. Um, but no, this is um, it's interesting. I'm trying to think of all the all the story points that we hit today. Uh, so obviously, the Stan and Oleg thing, they might have an alliance coming up. Yeah, it, that feels like what was telegraphing, right? If I was to yeah. guess, and we don't know, because they haven't even spoken yet this they season, no. but they both have the same goal, yeah. right? To, to to save Nina somehow, yeah. to get her out of her legal troubles. I don't know if it's life in a, in a, in a gulag. I don't know if it's they kill you. I, I don't know what, what the punishment well, is for, 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 for treason in Russia, obviously. At I, the time. I, I think they said in the last season that it was going to be she, she was going to be shot. Possible. Um, right. So. But, how much time do they have? It's right. Yeah, exactly. The clock right. Yeah, they are. And I feel like that that woman's like, we have to watch her. And this, the, the KGB is not happy that she's coming to us. I'm like, yeah. well, if these two guys get together and grab her, you know, then like we're making a swap. Wouldn't you be know? surprised if the next episode, well, this show it takes forever. So probably sure. the third episode. Right. Um, I mean, yeah, it, ma I mean, it makes sense as a thing moving forward. I, I have always liked Nina as a character. Sure. And obviously I want to see a happy ending for her. This is a show that, a lot of folks don't get happy endings in. Yeah, I don't know that anybody will. So if, if they're able to make the swap, great. But sure. But what's the cost there? I mean, Stan, Stan has shown that he's not above treason. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, I mean, he didn't save her in the last episode, obviously. But, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. Sure. Obviously, we're still doing the whole Sandra subplot as well. Right. So he's obviously a, a lonely guy that's... Uh, Looking for some sort of redemption, I guess. I, I, I don't know. He's, he's looking for something. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Oleg and, and Stan, that's definitely going to happen. There's uh, going to be a conversation between the two for sure. Yeah. Where that goes is anybody's guess, but that's sure. what kind of what it looks like they're signaling. I, I don't think they make a big deal out of it unless they were going to do that. Sure. You know I mean? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for misdirect, though. I mean, you never know. Um, the Philip storyline with Yusuf, that was. Freaking brutal, dude. I mean, honestly, yeah. that was really hard to watch. Um, yeah, but it, it obviously, you know, the tragedy of it is it works out in Philip's way. Yeah. Now, now, she's an unreliable asset at this point because she's in love with him. Yeah. And she was about to spill the beans on everything. And yeah. she did. Mm -hmm. And now Philip found a way to, to flip that, her death, back to his advantage there yeah. to keep working Yusef. All, he's just juggling all these women. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, the Martha thing, too. It's like, okay, so we see her shoot the gun. She's going to shoot somebody, right? Somebody's going to get shot. Like, shot at, at least. Yeah. yeah. She's not a good shot. Um. I think it's going to be Clark. I think she's going to shoot at Clark eventually. Maybe. Or maybe she's going to save him at some point. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I mean, we don't, we, yeah. Martha's holding it down. <laughs> right. You, know, you, never, you never know if something happens where Martha's got to save or attack sure. Clark. But we know that she's dangerous now. Yeah, she is. And, all right, cool. I, I like that we're actually using her character. It's not just right. Clark. Oh. Yeah, we, we we didn't get any of the, you know, I want to tell my I aunt about you. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm so frustrated. It's You're not here too. all the time. Yeah, yeah we, we get it. You know, we, we've got we've gone over. It that. was really hammered home the last season. Right. Was, every time we saw Martha, it was that's what it was home. about. Yeah. It was yeah. her. It was her, her insecurities about not feeling like she's fully in a relationship and having kids and everything with with Philip. Yeah, you can show us two or three scenes, but it's like we get it. We got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we got you there. Yes. The the the, the point has been made. Yeah. Um. So yeah, a different direction for her is, is, is welcome. And you know, the showrunners aren't stupid, right? No. They did. They did. No, season, no. They did season two. I'm sure they were like, okay, this worked, this didn't. And, you know, we move on to the third season and we've changed stuff up. You know, sure. that's that's what a good show does. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm here for it. Yeah. You've got my attention. Absolutely. Uh, with the page thing, I it's I, I really do think Elizabeth is going to pull the trigger on the page thing. Because of her situation with her mom now. I think she is enjoying getting closer to Paige. Obviously, she's going to church, but it's just with her mom, with the, especially with her mom dying, it drives that point home. Yeah, I, I I think what ends up happening is Elizabeth unintentionally gets sloppy 
to where Paige kind of finds out, and then they really don't have a choice. Or should screw it? Yeah, yeah, she's got to. It's like yeah. you know, I found your tapes. They're in Russian. What's going on? Oh no! How'd you do that? Well, here's the deal. Yeah, you know, which is what she wants to do anyway. So that's so why I, it's going to be so mad. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's not going to be her fault because Paige just found out on her own. Yeah, intentionally, unintentionally. Yeah, would be my guess. Um, I think this is set up for a really cool season, honestly. And I think. I'm not against them telling her, I guess, because she's going to have to know eventually. But, like, is Philip's whole idea that, like, she's just going to live her entire life not knowing? Right. It's like, is that his, what his, what his goal is, I guess? No, well, I mean, he said it here. I think the goal is she gets out, she goes to college, she's an adult. So, no matter what happens to us, yeah. she's an American citizen who was never in on it and she's fine. Sure. She's a, she's, she was born in America. She's a naturalized American citizen. Yeah. She's not living with her parents anymore. They just need to get their kids out of their house and living their own lives yeah. before they leave or whatever. Whatever happens. Right. Yeah. And, and the shot of uh, Elizabeth's flashback of her throwing Paige into the water. Right. Uh, that's pretty profound. Yeah, it is. I agree yeah. with that. It's like, this is, this is, uh, the, 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 the tough love. Let's just, you know, you're going to do what I want. And, Sink or swim. And, right. Yeah. Exactly. That, that I think we're, 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 Heading towards a real problem with yeah. the, with uh, with Elizabeth, yeah. As far as her dreams for Paige, I, I think so, yeah. Because you know, as much as Elizabeth's like, I'm so close with my daughter now, I just want her to be me. Um, there is nothing in Paige that says what I really want to be as a Soviet spy. spy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nothing at to, all. I want to go to church and talk to Dan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I go I go to church because Dan's there. Yeah. All right, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. See ya.